Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to Mechanicus. We're just going to go ahead and dive right back into Videx's stuff and attempt to, well, basically eradicate the Necron threat again, but this time from Videx's perspective where he just wants to purge the aliens. So, let's do it. <clears throat> into the breach, the generatoria beneath the tomb of Neftusk are protected by an energy shield. For his plan of destroying the tomb complex to be possible, Lector Dogmatis Videx requires the shield be destroyed. Let's go then. Ooh, additional de deployment slot. I wish I got all that stuff earlier in the game, frankly, because <clears throat> we have three deployment slots that are still closed. And it would have been nice to have larger forces earlier in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, let's take a bunch of Skitari. I like Skitari. The reactors beneath the Tomb of Neftusk are protected by an energy shield. Once this is shut down, the weapons of the Kestis Metallican can penetrate the reactor cores and set off a chain reaction. Good. I sense the tasks that remain are not trivial, Videx. True, we have but one such task left, but it is onerous. The shield generators must be deactivated before the Xenocide can be enacted. The risk will be great, Magos, but any risk is worth it if Silva Tenevris is to be cleansed. Then it shall be done. Let's go. Hopefully we make Videx happy this time. He hasn't been happy with our previous actions. Well, our previous ending. The Tomb of Neftusk is ramping up its defenses. The sarcophagi are emptying. Something is the, something in there knows what we are planning. Then we have achieved a miracle. We have the taught we have taught the Necron how to fear. Yeah, good way to look at it. Their desperation will give them strength. The Necrons will be at their most dangerous now. Macarius, uh, Macarian Duologues, Chapter 61. Let the foe blunt their blades against our resolve. They will be ash in memories soon enough. I wish I had your confidence, Lector Dogmatis. A lot of men will have to die before we're done with this place. Then let those in the front line give thanks. An honorable death in the Omnisaya service is hard to come by. Alright, let's do this. Alright. <laughs> Gravity cannon, everyone? <laughs> Scan or destroy. You know how easy it is for me to destroy these things, man? <laughs> uh, everybody, fall back. <laughs> we want clear lines of fire without having to worry about... Um, yeah. I want a clear line of fire, and I don't want to have to worry about... Hitting my own people. Uh, you are going to wait. You are going to wait. You are going to wait. So are you. So are you. Yeah, you can walk. Just give me a minute. Now, nah, here we go. Collect all cognition points. Yep, give me all of this. Okay. You know, since this dude has no melee attacks, I'm gonna go strip him of all of his stuff. Let's activate the Sanctus Canister. Yeah, he can't hit me if I try to walk away, so it seems appropriate to just drain all his stuff dry. Boost our energy attacks. Come stand over here. And get the gravity cannon ready to go. Use two cognition points. Yep. And I'd say... Ooh, I am way too close. I mean, that'd be perfect. That hit, like, pretty much every enemy. However... Looks like I should walk back a little bit. I can still hit him, but now I am not in range. So, blast everything with that beautiful, beautiful weapon. I mean, we didn't kill everything. But, I can still come over here. That'll use all my, well, not all my remaining cognition, just a fair chunk. Build a cognition gauge. 
Now, who is this? That's the one that wants to go next. Okay. Ooh, I see, I see, I see. Is there any way I can get into a position where he gets blasted too? Not really. So he's going to get a shot off. Hmm. I'll let you be the sacrificial lamb there that's going to get just blown away. You won't die, but you will take some damage from a pair of destroyers, which is not great for anybody. Now this destroyer is screwed. Hey dude. That ah, looks like I have to use my axe. Okay. What's your armor look like? Ooh, I could kill you with him as well. Let's go. Since he doesn't have um what's it called? He doesn't have any physical armor. I can do three and three with these. So, let's do it. Yep, just like that. Murder him again. Alright, let's boost everybody's damage and movement. And let's move on to the next dude. I think I'm gonna come over here first. We're gonna boost our cognition. Uh, let's use that. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight this dude yet. I'm gonna try to sneak by him. And I'm gonna blast this stuff up here. Hmm. <coughs> I mean, it's what they told us to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I really don't need the black stone, so I'm just gonna blow it straight away. Just blow it up. Oh, you guys don't want to join this fight. I promise you. Oh, now we gotta escape? Alright. You know what? Let's do this. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna actually blast these two because I don't like them. Fine. Let's boost energy. Because I still have this to spend. And just kill these two guys. I don't know if I'll kill him. I will kill him. I'm going to get rid of this destroyer. And we're just going to head home. Well... Not really home, but... Good lord, they are still everywhere, aren't they? I only have two guys who've moved out of the base, though, so... Eh. Dude, he's standing right here. You are not going to be able to get away before he retaliates and murders you. Oh, that's what I wanted to do, not the other one. Son of a... <coughs> hmm. Ah, well. I am going to move up in your face. I am going to take your cognition. I'm going to introduce you to an incending combustor. Oh, I am going to get an opportunity attack to the face. It's going to hit me with that rifle, huh? Well, let's finish you then. 
And I got a dude who'll heal everybody here in a second. Here. Oh, I need cognition. Well, conveniently, cognition is not difficult for me to get. Heal everybody. Now, which one of these immortals goes first? Ah. The ones that, unfortunately for them, are standing back to back. Yep. I'm gonna just try to murder the lot of you. All right, where do we want to take cognition points from? Hey, look at that. <laughs> With this, I'll be able to do a follow-up blast. <clears> hmm. <throat> Murder him. All right, for the next turn, just to make things easy for everybody. I am going to strip his corpse of cognition. Well, he's not really a corpse yet, but he will be soon. All the Necrons will be when I blow this place up. I mean, I could just do a little bit of cleanup with you. Just for fun at this point. Like, oh, I'll, just, I'll just make sure these guys don't reanimate. I mean, there's no point in a game like this. There's no experience points or anything or extra cognition just because I do that. It is legitimately just because I want to. Man, that axe is brutal. And it's a... Um, I'm not going to say misleading... But it is a very odd weapon, just because um, the amount of damage it says it does maxes out at 6, but we have a bunch of buffs and a bunch of abilities that greatly increase that. You know what? Uh-uh. We're not leaving while this Necron is standing. That just would not be proper. There we go. I feel much better about that decision. And he moves so fast, it's not like it slowed us down at all. Yeah, you. Let's go. Yeah, he just butchered his way through that. Ah, the heavy grab cannon. And to think it was more powerful at one point. Powerful radiation flares from the shield generators and the reactors beyond are interfering with the communications and our tech priest's augmentations. Remotely activate the megadosing capacity... Stave off this invisible threat with prayer. Let's do that. Yeah, it, it didn't work. <laughs> the reason I did the prayer thing, though, is we are traveling with Videx. If the prayer thing was going to work in any of these uh, missions, it would be a mission with Videx. Yes. Wow, there are a lot of beneficial ones, and none of them worked. <clears throat> Alright. Head on down here. Attempt to shoot down the statue of Neptusk before crossing the bridge. Blow it up. No one cares about Neptusk, just blow it up. All right, let's do this. Ah, 
Hey, Necron Lord. They're always fun to put down. Scan or destroy? Oh, I can scan and destroy. This is not an either or situation, my friends. I can do both. Except I'm probably not going to, because I don't need to. I don't need to. It's a cool looking map. Even if there are bloody turrets everywhere. Oh, you know what I'm waiting for. There's my dude. All right. Who's going to take a heavy grab cannon blast to the face? Well, <coughs> that answers that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, wow. We really messed up their awakening sequence, didn't we? Oh, and they got help. Oh, Tech Priest must escape. Uh, <laughs> that has to be the shortest battle we've ever had. Holy crap. <clears throat> We're just standing on the... At the very beginning. Excellent. Intellect to get past this one. Oh, apparently the intellect isn't uh, the our strong suit. Go with intellect to deal with the shield generator with the Mechanicus, and it's like, and the Necrons are now stronger as a result. It's like, well, crap. Hey. The dude who got hurt in prayer is on his feet again. Extra Necrons in battle. All right, let's do this. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I'm not really going to have the opportunity to use... Yeah, it's going to be very hard to set up a... You know, to set up the cannon fire. I mean, I'll give it a shot, but I don't think I'm going to... Oh, son of a... <clears throat> Believe me, you don't need to make him stronger. He's plenty strong. I think that's not an AoE attack, right? Well, yeah, crap. Make everybody wait, because I want to use Rolana. Really? All right. Yeah, I'm trying to... I need to find out who has my highest initiative. Who's been going first every time? Been Rudvald and Blackstar. Because I need to use them more frequently. Maybe I need to switch them out since they have the highest initiative. Maybe I need to give them the... <clears throat> What's it called? Maybe I need to give them the gravity cannon. Okay, that'll still hit... Oh. It will not. It'll just hit one of them. Alright, blast him. Just hit him. Oh, it did get Rilana. did get me. Well, easy way to fix that. Restore all HP. It still works quite nicely. Praetorian, Immortal. 
and the destroyer again. Let's head on over here and murder the Praetorian pair. Nope. I want to be in a position where I can kill them both because there's an immortal there. There we go. Oh, he was already dead. Well, he definitely dead now. And I shall take my cognition for the next group. I'm going to take a shot to the face, but that's fine. Who's up next? Ah, yes. Who can't go because he's trapped? Huh. He can, but he can't really do much else. He can just shoot. Alright, let's do this. Blast it. I need to do is kill him now. <clears throat> and I have the weapons to do it. I got a dude right here who can do it. He's going to boost everything first. Gain some cognition. <coughs> Excuse me. Burn him with purifying flame. Okay. Is this dude still alive? He is still alive. I mean, relatively. And blast him. Oh. Okay, then. Next. Kill the cognition gauge. Let's go ahead and heal up. <clears throat> Boost damage. Let's go have a chat with this dude. Who had the gall to survive? That's just rude, man. And annihilate. Yes. And there we go. The path is open. A transmission from somewhere in the tomb of Neftusk is being blare is sorry, is blaring blasphemous code bursts into the cohort's communicators. If left unexamined, it may disrupt communications and erode the capacity of the cohort to operate effectively. Respond in kind. <clears throat> the depravity of the alien is such that its corruption infects the information realm of the new sphere. This will be valuable intelligence were it not so troubling. The generatorium's primary shielding generator is captured and deactivated. The vast reactor cylinders beyond arc with power and are full of enough raw energy to obliterate the entire tomb valley. A penetrating orbital bombardment can surely cause the apocalyptic chain reaction Videx desires. Legistase Septimus 21-4. The circuits are complete, the engine of fate is primed, one turn of the cog remains, and the grand machine shall fulfill its purpose. My emotional responses are unexpectedly complex. I have examined by response of exaltation and find it justified given the impending destruction of this planet's Xenos. But I have also returned a weight of responsibility. Anything this tomb valley will tell us shall be lost forever. That's fine. Quarantine and delete these doubts. It is the duty of the Magi to overcome their human weakness in the name of reason and faith. Psalms Hermeticus 46. The Xenos must be purged, for the stars are humanity's birthright. Kill. Nope. No other phases for you. So, this is all the time I have for today. However... <clears throat> 
Next time we play, I mean, I could go after Nif Tusk apparently anytime I want, but we're not gonna. We're gonna fight him alongside um, Zargon. However, though, um, next time what we're gonna do, since all of Videx's missions are complete, we're gonna do the Twilight of the Gods mission, which will be us, which will be us getting Videx's ending. And while that, I don't know how long that fight's gonna go, I do have another thing I wanna do in this game that we are gonna do immediately after following uh, the Twilight of the Gods. We're gonna load another save and do just one more thing before we end the series. So it should be interesting. Either way, thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please by all means feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Mechanicus. Thanks again for watching, guys.